Hi friends, welcome and welcome back to Jury Series. Today we are going to talk about something that can change your life, which is building discipline. Building discipline, it is not easy to be disciplined, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you and to help you. Did you know that discipline, it's not about punishment, but about teaching ourselves to do what is necessary even when we don't feel like. Let's unpack this with 15 tips. So guys, we're going to chat where I'm getting ready for work. I know that setting clear goals, it is not easy. But it's good to set clear goals because sometimes we tend to set goals that are so unrealistic. Without a destination in mind, it is easy to get lost. Write down your goals and make it as specific, measurable, achievable, and time-bound as possible. For example, instead of saying, I want to get feet say i want to lose 10 pounds in three months by exercising four times a week this clarity will help you to stay focused break your goals down into manageable steps rome wasn't built in a day neither your discipline will be built in a day so take baby steps if your goal is to read more start with 10 pages a day rather than the whole book over time you will increase the amount this makes the process less overwhelming and more achievable. Consistency is key. Just like muscle display needs to be exercised regularly. Make it a point to work towards your goal every day. For example, if you're learning a new language, practice at least five minutes a day. Constancy builds habits and habits build discipline. Avoid temptations. Stay away from distractions. For instance, if you want to eat healthy, remove junk food from your house. Avoid eating junk food in general. When I wanted to eat more healthy, I avoid eating a lot of junk food. So the more you avoid the temptation, the more you avoid things that will make you not achieve your goals, you're going to go further in life. If you need to study, create a quiet study place. If you don't have a quiet study place in your home, go to a library. And remember, putting your phone on silence when you're studying, when you're doing something that you want to achieve by the end of the day or that you want to achieve by this month is good to avoid your phone. So by controlling your environment, you can make it easier to stick to your goals. The other thing is thinking positive. Whenever you think positive, it is easier for you to be more motivated and more productive in whatever you're going to do. If you start thinking already that you're a failure, that you're not gonna succeed, it is most likely that it's going to make you go down and ruin everything around you. Focus on achievable goals, things that you can achieve. Start with something small. Find a mentor. In life, it is good to have a mentor, someone who will guide you, whether it's your parents or whether it's someone that you know, someone that you trust. And if you don't have it, that's also okay. But it's always good to find a mentor and find someone that will guide you through life. Embrace failure. It is okay to fail. Even if you try now, your goal or start now might be that you won't achieve this year, might be that you're going to fail a lot of times before you achieve your goal. It is good to become self-aware and practice self-care and rewarding yourself occasionally. Like do something that you like, pamper yourself with you something. If it's going to do your nails, going to do your hair, going to the movie, eat, going to do some massage. It is always good to pamper yourself once in a while, take care of yourself because if you don't, no one will. Let's break those down further, shall we? Having someone to guide you can make a huge difference in your life. It is good sometimes to look to someone who has achieved what you're trying to achieve in life. They can offer advice, support, and accountability. For instance, if you want to improve your fitness, a personal trainer can provide a structured plan and motivate you. Or watching videos on YouTube of someone who has started losing weight and how their life are becoming now or anything in general. I know that embracing failure it is hard sometimes. We just 
wants to get mad, angry, sad and have all the feelings and that's okay, right? It is also good for you to understand that failures is something that I learned. I learned that failure is a part of learning process. If you don't fail, you won't learn. I'm not saying that you have to fail all the time, but whenever you fail, you will learn and you will try to make it better. When you fail, don't get discouraged. Instead, analyze what went wrong and learn from it. For example, if you didn't stick to your diet program or your diet plan for one week, review why is this happening and adjust your strategy for the next week. So when you fail this week or the other week, you can always get up on the next week or on the next month. So until you're still here, you still have time to renew your goal. Each failure is an opportunity to grow. But remember, don't do this that this year this week I'm not gonna achieve my goals if I my goals is to exercise I'm not gonna exercise this week next week I will exercise then I'm not gonna exercise this week if you keep on doing like this it is going to take a long time for you to achieve your goals so it's good to try to be persistent even there will be times that you will be tired that you will cry but keep on going and you will achieve your goal become self-aware understand your strengths and weaknesses we all have our weaknesses we all have our strengths self-awareness allows us to develop a strength that plays to your strength and your weaknesses for instance if you know you're someone that is easily distracted create a distraction free workspace create a distraction free environment being aware of your habits and tendencies help you make better choices in life prioritizing self-care it's not only about skin care no there is more to self-care than skin care or doing your hair it is taking care of your physical and mental health because sometimes we tend to want to achieve our goals or do things or be this or do that and we forget to take care of our mental and physical health physical and mental health it is crucial for building discipline make sure to exercise eat well and get enough sleep i myself i know that if i don't sleep well it is going to be hard for me during the day and if I don't exercise in the morning, I'm going to feel more tired during the day. For instance, a good night of sleep can improve your focus and productivity the next day. Well, we all know after a good night of sleep, we'll feel more strong and, you know, happy during the day. When you feel good physically, it is easier to stay this up. reward yourself. Reward yourself occasionally. You don't need someone else to reward you. Or to give you this or to give you something nice or to or to plan something good for you it is good if you some find someone who can give you this or do this or plan for you something good it is nice but remember also you can also do this for yourself that doesn't mean that you don't need anyone or you don't need someone to do it for you but sometimes it's always good to do something good for yourself that you like celebrating small victories keep you motivated for example if you stick to your study schedule for a week treat yourself to something that you enjoy like a movie night dinner night or a spa day rewards reinforce positive behavior and make the journey more enjoyable now let's get to our final five tips i know that practicing being patient it is not easy because i have been there and sometimes I struggle. Building discipline takes time. It won't happen overnight. But with patience, you will see the progress. For example, if you're learning a new skill, understand that mastering takes time. Be patient with yourself and stay committed. Keep learning. Even if you're not on the face of learning anymore, or even if you feel like learning is not for you, learn something that works for you. Whether it's learning to videos, whether it's learning to reading, whether it's learning to take fun courses that you feel like it is nice, even if learning about fashion, learning about even things that you think is like a random thing, doesn't make sense for others, take your time to learn something. The more you know about what it takes to build discipline, the better equipped you will be. Read books, watch video, and seek out resource that can help you develop discipline for instance reading about time management can give you tools to use your time more and effectively getting enough sleep 
Sometimes it might not seem important. I'm gonna sleep five hours or six hours, but it's important to get a nice sleep. Doesn't matter what age you are. A well-rested mind, it is most likely to make discipline decision. A lack of sleep can lead to poor choices. Make sure to get enough of quality sleep each night. And also it depends to the type of life that you have. So adjust your sleeping time according to your life standard. Some people may have the time to sleep seven hours, 10 hours, or how many hours, but some people just have the time to sleep five hours or less. So it depends on your life. This will improve your focus, mood, and overall performance. Celebrate your small victory. This will motivate you to keep going. For example, if you complete a challenging task, acknowledge your achievement. The more positive you think or you feel, it will boost more your confidence and you will be encouraged to push forward. Keep believing, have faith in your ability to change. Remember, discipline is built, not born. Believe that you can build a discipline with force, with effort and persistence. For instance, if you encourage sit back, reminding yourself of your goals and why you started this. This is something that I do all the time when I'm feeling down, when I want to give up. I remind myself of my goals and why I started in the first. Stay focused and keep believing in yourself because I believe in you. Those are the tips that help me to build discipline and that will help you also to build discipline and change your life for good. Remember, it is not going to be easy. No one's journey it is easy, but trust me, it is going to be worth it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more life-changing tips. Until next time, keep working on you and remember, nobody's perfect and just be you. Ciao!